America's sweetheart, Mr. John Lithgow. You have a new book of poetry. That's we right. We always love it when you come on to share right. your poems with us. The new book is called A Confederacy of Dumpties, Portraits of American Scoundrels in Verse, which focuses on historical villains. Now, yes. you've talked about our modern uh, recent Dumpty who left office in January. In your previous poems, what's it like departing from our modern, our modern scoundrels and talking about our historical scoundrels? Well, it difference? was kind of a relief. I, I was in, in a... There, it was a moment of great relief, the last election, for me and for about half the country. Uh, and I... It's, <laughs> more than half. <laughs> no, no. More... I was <laughs> indeed trying to be judicious. Yes. But this, you know, I had sp uh, this is the third in a trilogy. I've come and introduced both of the other books on this show, for which I thank you so much. And we are honored. We are honored. You made both of them Times bestsellers. And so my publishers, of course, wanted another one. I just, I was so tired of the subject. But it was, <laughs> it, it was a breakthrough to suddenly think, well, wait a minute. What if I dispose of that subject and go back in history and have a look at all of his precursors. My wife had a lot to do with this. She's a history professor herself. Oh, wow. And, and so I went and sort of gathered up all these marvelous known and unknown characters from the 19th and 20th century uh, who have startling uh, parallels and resonances. Well, with, you, with co the, our current political climate. And you've, you've, you've graced us with uh, some dramatic readings in mm -hmm. the past on the show. Would you be willing to give us a little taste I tonight for, for the good people of... Yes, I will. You want to take uh, this? You want to... Well, please. It's a performance. Please. please. I will take the stage. Please do. Okay. John Lithgow, ladies and gentlemen. A dramatic interpretation. Yes, the, the, the book is a kind of history, it's a kind of chronology that leads us up to the present day. So these are very close to the end. Uh, I will read you four or five limericks. <laughs> Most of them are very, are rather long poems, but not these. They're called Limericks for the Here and Now. Until now we have dwelt on the past, but before we arrive at the last, Here's a dozen quick takes about rascals and rakes from our reprobate present-day cast. Ted Cruz. <laughs> that lardacious baboon <laughs> is the maestro of inopportune. With his state in deep freeze, this titan of sleaze took his family off to Cancun. <laughs> Giuliani, a freak among freaks, <laughs> tends to blunder whenever he speaks. But his clumsiest mess was in front of the press, just for men, trickled down both his cheeks. <laughs> uh -huh. Joel Greenberg and buddy Matt Gates share several libidinous traits. When both of them score, they tend to ignore the age of consent of their mates. <laughs> yes, that's them. Each McConnell political act <laughs> has a physiologic impact. For Mitch, legislation connotes constipation <laughs> of the nation's intestinal tract. From these verses, you might be inclined to consider each target maligned. But compared to their smears of the recent few years, my words have been overly kind. His book, A Confederacy of Dumpties, John Lithgow, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Theo Croker and Wycliffe John. John Baptiste. Thank you, Maestro.